Want to know what my optimal split for beginners are? Let's take a look. We get a lot of people that come to us and they want to know what the perfect split is, but they don't have a lot of muscle tissue. It doesn't necessarily mean that their age is young. It could be anyone starting into bodybuilding. So don't get caught up on I'm 18 to 20 or I'm 30 to 40. None of that matters. If you're new to bodybuilding and you have a little bit of muscle tissue, we have to find ways to optimally develop it. So one of the number one questions we always get is, what is the best training split? Well, inevitably, we're inundated with so much information about specialization programs and bringing out my legs or bringing out my back or massive chest three times a week. For the beginner, that's just simply not optimal. What I want to think about as a beginner or to even to a low-level intermediate is I need to focus on form, function, and mind-muscle connection first. So to me, I want to be able to do the muscles that are going to be required in each session. So some splits we might want to look into are potentially a pull-push legs or your most basic mountain dog split, which is going to be back on one day, chest and shoulders on another, legs, and then arms. So in my opinion, what I would consider my go-to split. So pull, push, legs, or the classic mountain dog split. Now, you can, let's say for example, your recovery is really great. There's no reason on that push or pull, push legs that we can't rotate right back through that. That was actually my very first bodybuilding split. So I would do pull, push, off, legs, off and then start the rotation over pull. So I'd be training four days a week, then I'd have an off day, and then the next week I'd hit push twice, and then the next week I hit legs twice, and then I'm right back to hitting pull twice. So that's the way I wanted to train four times a week because that's what I was accustomed to for football. So that worked really, really well for me and helped me gain a base level of strength and then a base level of knowledge in terms of starting to learn my muscle connection, learning exercises, how to perform them as a bodybuilder as opposed to an athlete where I just wanna press it as fast and explosively as I can from point A to point B. I have to really slow the rep tempos down, control it, start to feel my muscle move the load, not making my body and all of my muscles move the load. So though one of those two splits, in my opinion, is gonna be what I recommend all day long to anyone that comes to us looking to put on tissue to get to start building towards an advanced level program. Now, you might ask what kind of exercise we wanna do. All day long, I'm gonna pick a pretty set routine, right? I'm gonna do something to activate the target muscle. So step one, let's, let's use chest for an example. If I'm learning to activate my chest, another, nothing better in my opinion than an incline dumbbell press or a slight incline dumbbell press. I can feel my muscle work through a full range of motion, it's relatively safe. And then from there, once I learn that, I can really bang out and get really strong at it. Next up, I want to do something more really more basic. So what's more basic than incline dumbbell? An incline barbell press. I want to get brutally strong at that. Feel it. Get in the groove. Get my nervous system used to that exercise. Next, third rotation. Then I might go into a machine press. That way I can really focus on everything's locked in. I have no stabilization left. And then I press. And then finally... If you're gonna do a third exercise for chest, or a fourth, sorry, um, which I typically don't recommend for beginners, you could always do a fly variation. But nine times out of 10 for most beginners, I'm gonna do three chest exercises. I'll do two for shoulder and two for triceps. Because at the end of the day, I wanna get really good at those base exercises before moving on to the next day. So let's keep working through that. So for shoulders, what we're gonna do. So I would do a shoulder press and then some kind of rear or side lateral. Pretty simple there. Whatever feels great to you, a barbell, a dumbbell, a Smith machine, a hammer strength press, any of those are gonna work great. And then right into a lateral raise. So that can be with dumbbells, that can be with a machine, whatever you like. Then lastly for triceps, I'm gonna do some kind of push down extension just to get a big pump in my triceps. And then all day long, I'll either finish with dips or some kind of skull crusher or close grip bench press. So if you look through that push day example that I just gave, all basic exercises, all things that are going to be beneficial. And then I would just keep repeating that until you, until you really get in tune with all of those exercises. That could be six weeks, 12 weeks, or even a year for some. If you're still progressing and gaining lean muscle tissue off of it as a beginner, don't change a thing. Don't get fancy. Stick with the basics. Master the basics. And then when you get into the advanced level, then we can look to get fancy. If you found this video interesting, uh, beneficial, like, share, subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions, if you're a beginner out there and want to know how to get in contact with me for coaching, just comment below. I'll shoot you my email and we can get started. Thanks for watching, guys.